In this screencast, I'll show you how we can use group contribution methods to design a molecule with target physical properties. So this has been based on the work of Joe Back and Reed 1987 with the equations that they suggested and the increment data that they suggested. And what we're trying to achieve now is a more targeted, uh, intelligent, guided approach to designing molecules. In order to achieve this, we need to set out with an idea of what type of molecule we want. So this first example is for a straight chain alkane. Um, and the, the target is a straight chain alkane with a boiling point of 383 Kelvin. So that target value has been placed in this box. And then the difference between the target value and the currently estimated value is squared. That difference is squared and that's the objective function that we want to minimize. So if we look down here, we're going to have two of these methyl end groups um, so that we can actually make an alkane. So two of those is ethane, that's the simplest alkane that we can get that's got uh, two groups there um, that isn't just methane. And then we're going to use solver to vary the number of these CH2 groups until we get an alkane with suitable properties. So if we go to solver, we can see that we're minimizing this by changing this value here and we're constraining that to equal to or less than 20 and it has to be an integer. So if we press solve, we've now got a solution and we can see that we need six of those groups plus our two methyls. We've minimized the objective function and we've got a boiling point that is very close to the target value. And so this has allowed us to see that if we use that this was octane. We need eight carbon atoms in our alkane. So octane will have a boiling point that is close to the target. We can then do things similarly for other types of molecules. So a halo alkane. Um, this time we are looking at uh, a primary halo alkane. So this is, means that we've got a halo group at the end of our alkane. So if we come down here, we're going to have um, we need enough methyl groups to sort of get either end of the alkane to be capped off. So this is 2 minus the sum of any halo group. So if one of these halo groups pops up to form our halo alkane, then that will, reproduce, that will be reduced down to just one methyl group. And we're also going to vary the number of CH2 groups so that we can form an alkane of a suitable length. Uh, we've got an additional constraint here, which is that the sum of these is going to equal 1. Um, and then in solver, we're setting the number of CH groups to be equal to or less than 20. All the parameters that we're varying have to be integers, and the al alkanes have to be smaller or equal to 1. So if we press solve on this, solver's found a solution. The estimated boiling point is now very close to what we wanted and we've minimized the objective function and this is showing us that we need one methyl four of these CH2 groups and one iodine group so this will be a pentane molecule with an iodine at the end so again we found now our target molecule we can do similar things for uh, benzene, so a mono super substituted halo benzene, we have to say that we have five of these, one of these, and then we'll allow solver to find how many, well, which one of these will be needed in order to get the target property. So that's all set up. We can press solve, and it's found that we need a uh, chlorobenzene in order to get the target property. We can do something similar with carboxylic acids. So here's the target molecule, carboxylic acid, with this boiling point. We set the problem up. This time we say that we want a carboxylic acid group and one CH group, CH3 group. Solver will then vary the number of CH2 groups, and it's found that we need seven of those to get a carboxylic acid with the target value. We can look at things like halo alkanes um, that are secondary halo alkanes so that we are putting the uh, the halo group 
on the chain somewhere, not just at the end. So if we press solve for this, for this one, should find a target for us. So this time it's saying that we need six carbon atoms in the chain, so it's a hexane molecule um, with a fluorine group attached to the side somewhere, um, not at either end, and that will give us the target property. So overall this is a, a sort of introduction into a more targeted way of designing your molecule so that the actual combinations of groups will create a feasible molecule and we have to do that by having formulas that relate the different numbers of these things together so that we actually get uh, feasible values and a feasible combinations to make a target molecule.